All right, everybody, we're here in my garage, as you can see. Uh, plenty of first light in the back, because you need that. Um, and we're gonna sharpen a, a knife and a pair of scissors today. This knife right here, the Benchmade Altitude, is the knife that I put in with all my game bags. This knife I use to gut and skin in the field. Partially because it's light, but it's also easy to sharpen. So I'm gonna show you the, the Ken Onion. He's a famous knife maker, and he helped Workshop design this Ken Onion knife and tool sharpener. It's a pretty fancy machine. It's not like a whetstone. Uh, you plug it in and get to town. So I'm gonna take you through the machine, and I'm gonna take you through the belts and the braces we're gonna to use to sharpen this bench. Each knife, each tool has a different way to sharpen. It needs a different angle, a different speed, a lot of different things. And if you have the work sharp, it comes in the manual. But just for this knife, I know this is a hunting knife that I want an outdoor edge on. The first thing is the angle. If you can see here, the angle can be up from 15 degrees to 30 degrees. This is the angle adjustment knob. You spin it, you can watch the angle of these guides move out and move in. So I'm gonna change this. Most outdoor knives, this one especially, is gonna to wanna to be at 25 degree angle. So I'm gonna easily switch that to 25. And there's the speed adjustment knob on the bottom. I'm gonna switch that to medium. You see the plus minus there. I'm gonna switch that to medium. That's the speed I want. So now I have the angle and the speed. So as you can see, there's a bunch of different belts that comes with the Ken Onion. This one comes with five belts. They go from extra coarse to extra fine. What I'm gonna do today is start with the coarse belt, which is this belt right here, the X65. And then I'm gonna refine the edge once I've worked up some burrs with this one, which is the X4. So starting with the X65, I'm just gonna go ahead and pull the belt on to the track. Pretty easy. Slide it in there, push up, and slide it on just like that. Super easy. Okay, to get this altitude as sharp as we possibly can, you're gonna run this on the outside of the guide at one inch per second. And when you get to the end of this, you're gonna stop at the tip. You do not wanna round the tip off with the belt. WorkSharp tells you, and I think it's a smart thing to do, if you're, if, this, if you're a first timer doing this, use a knife you don't care much about. Don't go in with your, your knife for the field right away and start swiping through here, because you don't want to mess up that blade or that edge for good. So pretty easy, you're going to start by placing this blade in here, turning on, and pulling through. And then when the tip hits that belt, bring it out. So again, bring it out. So once I've raised the burr on the side that I'm sharpening, I can feel it. I can feel it in this knife. I can feel the burr as I push up. That's just that metal that's kind of folded over. Once I push up and I see the burr, I'm gonna flip it to the other side. Do the same thing with the same guide about four to six times. Don't white knuckle your blade. You don't want to be pushing down. You want to let this belt do the work and work the knife through, so. And kind of that motion of the belt will push that knife back towards you, or if you're, if you're going the other way, it doesn't really matter. But again, if you're running it through very fast, or if you're jerking it around, if, if you don't have a smooth run, you're gonna end up with not the right kind of sharp. Start to look good. You'll start to feel the burrs come off. And again, you can use four to six times on this one. Again, you want to be really parallel to the, to the belt when you're running here. And that's the best way to get it sharp. And, and this is going to be not a rough edge, but a coarse edge. And then I'm going to flip over to the X4 and really refine this edge, get it as sharp as I can get it. Okay, now I've got the fine edge on, as you can see. It's also really fun to rev up like an engine. Makes you feel real manly. Um, so now I'm going to just Take this, I'm gonna alternate strokes now with this, with the, with the finer belt. So I'm really just trying to shine this baby up and, and get that extra sharp because I'm looking for it. And as I go through, I'm making sure I'm parallel, I'm following that guide of that 25 degree angle blade. So this thing, looking real good. Okay, now that we know how to use this thing, we're gonna show you how to quickly do some kitchen shears. This, I use these all over the house. My wife gets pissed every time I take them out of the kitchen and cut something out here with them in the butchering area, but oh well, um, she'll deal. This is cool because you see the WorkSharp Ken Onion sharpener 
has a scissor guide down here bottom below the main guide we just used to sharpen the knife. So it makes it easier. WorkSharp does tell you don't sharpen the flat side of your scissors. Just don't do it. Don't sharpen anything but the sharp edge of any implement you're working with. So we're gonna, I just take these apart. These are, this is a Westoff pair of shears. So I'm gonna take them apart. I'm gonna do one side at a time, obviously working on just this edge right here. I'm not gonna go into the flatter side of the scissors. I'm only gonna work the edge that's actually doing the cutting. So I'm, I've installed the finest belt, the finest abrasive belt here. I'm gonna set this down in here, let the guide do its work, and then make sure, like I said, make sure that I'm only sharpening part of the scissors that are actually doing some work. You can even when you're doing this to see just how well this Ken, Ken Onion does, you can take a look at each side of your scissors and in this case you can really tell the difference between the side that's been polished and sharpened and the side that is dull and needs a sharpen. Easy enough, put your scissors back together and off you go. I would just say hatchets, axes, scissors, knives, any tool, fish hooks, anything. This Ken Onion Sharpener will do it. You have all the belts you need, you got all the power you need. WorkSharp does it every time.